something's been really bothering me and it's been bothering me for a long time. Like, so many of us give way too many fucks about the wrong things. Like, we give an unhealthy amount of fucks. And one of the categories that this happens a lot in is Instagram models. Because when it comes to Instagram models, who really cares? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today's solution is recognizing the fact that we care way too much about things that absolutely do not matter, all right? One of them is Instagram models. So many people get upset that being an Instagram model is a thing, that a woman or a man uses their body to take photos and they get likes and followers and comments. And at the end of the day, who really cares? One of the other gripes that people have is the fact that these people make money off of Instagram. Like, really? Really? Are we being serious right now? Like, unless you are paying that person's bills, why does it matter to you in any way, shape, or form how this person, this Instagram model, why does it matter how they are making their money if it literally has nothing to do with you? Like, I sit back and think. I think about how many things occupy space in our heads. And this, this could be something you can comment down below. Like think about the things that occupy the space in your head that you spend even five minutes on. Like if you are somebody who is spending even five minutes of your day worrying about how Instagram models are even a thing, like we need to step back and take a look at our lives and see what the hell is actually happening. I look at this world and everybody has their different morals, there are different values, the things that mean the most to them, the things that they have conviction about, and all of those things. And like, in my opinion, Instagram models being a career should definitely not be one of them, all right? If your thing is like the environment, cool, do you, helps everybody out. If your thing is politics and you wanna get the message out there because the elections are coming up, cool, do that. If your thing is starving kids in Africa, awesome, do that. If your thing is mental health awareness and the stigma, do that. If it's addiction, if it's overdose rates, if it's, you know, um, the over medication, if it's people not getting medication, like if it's your family, your friends, like what are the things that matter to you? Like when I sit back and I look at people whining and complaining, about the fact that Instagram models take pictures and do silly kooky things and make weird poses and they're making a career out of that? Like on a scale of one to 10, how much does that matter? Like this is something that I, I always try to do. It's something that I actually teach my son because sometimes I go pick up my son and he's all like worked up about something, right? And we sit down and talk and something, <laughs> something I ask him is I'm like, I'm like Dylan, on a scale of one to 10, in the grand scheme of things, how much does this matter, right? And then he kind of sits there and looks at it. Like, the fact of the matter is, even though that kid's reality is his life right now, he's a 10 year old child, like, I can look at it from an outside point of view and say, Dylan, does it really matter what that punk kid said to you in class, all right? In a matter of time, you're gonna completely forget that that kid exists. So like, when we're looking at these things, the things that we're letting occupy space in our head, which things, actually matter in life. Now, now, if you wanna make the argument that Instagram models are promoting an unhealthy um, body type to young women or even men, if that's your argument, I can get on board with that, all right? But in order to support that argument, I would want you to talk about people like Tess Holliday. Tess Holliday is a plus size model and she has literally made an entire career off of doing the same thing in the opposite direction. Like I've done videos in the past on body positivity and things like that. And when researching those hashtags on Instagram, there are just as many, there are just as many plus size models as there are, you know, uh, uh, other Instagram models with unrealistic beauty standards, okay? But at the end of the day, why does this matter? Why do people care so much? If I'm giving my honest opinion, it's jealousy. It's jealousy. I think, I've done some polls and I've also done, you know, I've read amazing books like Lost Connections, which I highly recommend. 75% of people, 75% of people are either A, indifferent about their job, 
or B, absolutely hate their job, okay? And I think we're living in a society where people are, are just hating on people who are doing very simple, very average things and making a career at it because when they look at their own life, they wish they could be doing something like that. Like, trust me, I'm speaking for myself too. Like, if you think for a hot minute that if I could take pictures of this mug and make money off of it on Instagram, I would do that in a heartbeat. But the reality is not many people are looking up hashtag fat bearded guys and I ain't getting paid for it, all right? So I had to figure out a different route. But for the Instagram models who are out there doing their thing and it's not hurting me or anybody else, do your thing, boo. But if we're going back to the idea of unrealistic beauty standards, or is it healthy to be this skinny, or is it healthy to be that overweight? Like, if you ask me, especially with such a young audience on all social media platforms, the responsibility goes to the parents. Like, monitor your freaking kid, know what they're looking at, see what they're doing, and talk to them about it. Have the conversation. Because if we keep expecting YouTube or Instagram or Twitter to raise our children, that's our fault. It is not the model's fault. Like, there are so many people who just think that life is a matter of just taking their hands off the steering wheel and letting society just raise their children or raise us and give us these ideas and everything like that. Like, I don't get whatever happened to personal accountability or personal responsibility. Like, here's the thing. If you don't like Instagram models, I have an amazing suggestion for you. Stop following them. But at the end of the day, Instagram models and any way, shape, or form are not hurting us unless we let them. Like if we sit there and we choose to be a hater, we choose to get angry and upset that they're making money off of Instagram, that's on us. That is on us. And my argument again for the unrealistic beauty standards or unhealthy body types is the responsibility of us as a community to talk about that, all right? But why should somebody, let's talk about that for a second. Why should somebody quit doing the thing like Instagram modeling that is making them money paying their bills which you're not paying for them why should they stop doing that just because somebody neglects the responsibility of talking to their child about self-love beauty standards and all of those things does that make sense so i want you to sit back i want you to sit back and get into the solution maybe make a list make a list of all the things that are rubbing you the wrong way and then on a scale of one to ten Ask yourself how much it really matters, okay? Like what you might find is how much it really matters to yourself and your reality, but in the grand scheme of things, okay? With over seven billion people on this planet and all of the issues that this world has right now, ask yourself how much that thing really matters. I've been reading a lot of philosophy books lately, and one of the things that they talk about is getting a wider perspective of life as a whole. Like, have you ever looked at like a timeline of the universe and seen how long like, um, humans have even existed? It's like that much. It's like a tiny, tiny little thing. So we're like this much on the whole like, cosmic scale of time and we're gonna waste this little time that we have on this planet worrying about Instagram models. I want you to sit back, let that soak in, saute that for a little bit, all right? Focus on the things that matter. I'm not telling you to not give a fuck about anything, but focus your fucks on the things that actually matter in life. All right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. Thank you for giving a fuck about this channel and what I'm trying to do here. All right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.